Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com. I don't know if you've been following the news, but it seems like the entire province of Quebec is on fire. Something like 9 million acres burned in 150 wildfires. And all the smoke is blowing down the eastern seaboard of the U.S., including where I am here in Connecticut, New York. Yesterday, where I was, was disgusting. It's murk. You can't even see the sun. It's unbelievable. And the the health index is like in the dumps for people who have respiratory ailments, asthma, allergies, and all that stuff. And I have all those things. So my throat is sore and my voice is even more ratchety than usual. And I apologize for that. But until they blow out the fires or some sort of front sweeps all the smoke out, it's just, it's horrible. You can smell the burning. It's disgusting. Anyway, anyway, I need to do a little catch up. Um, and that's what this review is for. We have to catch up with the Eric Coates series on Chandos, featuring the BBC Philharmonic under John Wilson. Now, I love Eric Coates. Eric Coates has everything that a good composer of light music should have. What were his dates? He has dates. Um, 1886 to 1957. He has good tunes. He has glittering orchestration. Although I have to say, in the hands of some of these light music guys, a glockenspiel is a dangerous weapon. It really is, including, you know, it does add that little bit of cheesiness sometimes to the to the glittering surfaces. I mean, you know, but they glitter and it's fun. It's just fun. And I also wonder if he actually had suspended cymbal rolls at the end of every single piece he wrote that ended loudly. I mean, he had characteristic things happening. He really did. And his music is beyond charming. It's just delightful. So let's talk about disc numero uno. First, we get The Merrymakers, a miniature overture, which is four minutes and 32 seconds long. That's actually not so miniature as far as overtures go. I mean, The Marriage of Figaro is about that length, right? And no one calls it miniature, but it's jolly. And that's the point. Then we have The Jester at the Wedding, Sweet from the Ballet. Now, this is a really lovely series of mostly sentimental and and you know sort of waltz like dance things i mean there's a there's a big opening with fanfares and stuff and a big conclusion as well but the the intervening dances are not like well it's not like you know the comedians for example or one of those guys by kabalevsky it's 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 much more much more sensitive and sentimental than that. And it's charming. It's just absolutely charming. Then we have Dancing Nights, a concert waltz. Well, it's a concert waltz. It waltzes concertly. Uh, ballad Opus 2 for string orchestra. The Ballad Opus 2 is sort of the one weak thing on the disc, I think. It's only as Opus 2. Um, it's not a particularly distinctive piece. Um, the tunes are not all that marvelous. It just sort of sits there for five minutes. And then fortunately it stops. At least it's concise. Then we've got two symphonic rhapsodies on popular songs. Now these are cool. They are. Wait a minute. Let's, let's see what they are. The two symphonic rhapsodies are... Uh, choo -choo 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 -choo. Here we go. I pitch my lonely caravan. Oh, I love... I love faux Eastern, you know, Orientalist schlock. And that's what this is. It's good schlock. It's wonderful. It's vaguely exotic. It could be Hungarian for all the exoticism. It could be, you know, it's Eastern or whatever. Oh, it's just marvelous. And then bird songs at eventide, I heard you singing. Well, bird songs at eventide. Well, what do you think? There's a flute. It goes, weep, 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 weep. It does bird songs. But then there's eventide, you get church bells bonging along and it's, it's it's just evocative it does exactly what it says it does one of the nice things about good light music composers is that they're always honest you know it doesn't matter how cheesy the concept is they just go for it and i you know i love cheese i'm a cheese i'm a cheese guy and you know, i'm sure you are too then we have one of his fa most famous pieces by the sleepy lagoon the Vols Serenade, it's less than four minutes long. You know, that was like one of Coates' most popular things. I heard it forever, and it never made much of an impression on me. I like his bigger stuff. And finally, the London Suite for orchestra that has the Knightsbridge March. You know, bum ba da 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 da
the, the last the march from the Karelia suite. Right? I mean, they're very similar, especially when I sing them, because when you take all the notes of the pitch out, then the rhythm is the only thing that you hear. And that's what's similar in both. So anyway, yeah, this is great. The sound is lovely. The performances are just fresh and lively. There's nothing not to love. So it's John Wilson, the BBC Philharmonic, Eric Coates Orchestral Works, Volume 1. Now, there are two more volumes. Um, three actually technically isn't out yet, but I have it. And two we'll be talking about shortly because I want to get caught up with this stuff. This is this is good light music and it deserves to be promoted. And so that's what we're going to do. So keep on listening, friends. Thanks for joining me. Take care.